All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Andrew and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. So I apologize for the dark shadowy areas. As you can tell, it's pretty early in the morning here and I'm trying to jump on an early start for painting today because even though it's the day after Christmas, it's supposed to get quite warm. All right, so this episode is not gonna be much about painting. It'll be more about explaining the situation that happened because I've had a bunch of you ask what happened to the house painting situation that we had. And if you haven't watched that video, I'll make sure to include it at the end of this video right here. But I'm explaining real quick the situation we had, how we got it resolved, and then we'll throw this thing in fast forward and paint. No point in showing the whole painting process again, being that I showed it in the last video. All right, so everybody has been asking. You can see that the house already has actually two coats of paint on it, plus one coat of primer. So quite a bit of paint on that house already as it is. But uh, we got it painted last time and we got to looking at it once it dried a day or so later and we realized that was not the gray color that we carried into Lowe's. We actually have some Sherwin-Williams paint. I'll show you behind me. On this shelter over here, and I know to the quick eye zooming around it looks the same. It's not the same at all, but it has a brown earthy tone to it. Hard to describe, but it's a really good looking gray. Whereas this over here, especially when the light catches it, is almost a bluish, just washed out white type of gray. So I went into Lowe's, had my Sherwin-Williams paint can from that shelter, painted it just a few months ago, has the code on it, the color match code, everything. Give it to them, they mix me up 10 gallons of their Sherwin-Williams paint, and uh, I come on home, start painting the house, let it dry for about a day, and like I said, we look around and we're like, oh wow, that's, that's not the color gray that we thought it was at all. So I was so worried I was gonna have to eat about $500 worth of paint and have to repaint the house. So I kind of hem hauled around, decided to go back to Lowe's, talked with the manager before I even drove over there, explained my situation. And uh, finally she was like, just come on back, ask for me if they give you a problem. I went to the return desk and of course the, the lady there was like, you've already used a lot of this paint. I can't give you a credit back. I said, I understand that, but something was not mixed correctly i did not feel that it was my fault i didn't talk with your manager she called the manager sure enough manager okayed it thank goodness and they refunded me on 10 gallons of paint so i decided to step back to the paint desk and there was somebody different there that day i explained my situation to them hey we come in with this paint can with this sherwin williams color code and y'all mixed me up 10 gallons that did not match exactly actually it was a decent amount off but hard to catch by the eye until it dried. This lady knew immediately what happened. So if you look on the top of these paint cans, they wrote my Sherwin-Williams paint code here, SW7017. That stands for Sherwin-Williams. The paint code is a 7017. They have it in their system and they can mix to it. So that's what I brought in that day. She says, I bet you they mixed up their home and garden Sherwin-Williams line, which is an HG 7017. Has two different letters in front of a 7017. Now, Sherwin-Williams, I don't know what y'all are thinking. Um, why would you have a home and garden line that you're pushing on TV and everybody else, everybody watches HGTV, that's what they're pushing. Then you have your regular Sherwin-Williams, but they both use 7017 to describe a gray, but it's two different grays. Why would they not have different numbers? So that was the first uh -oh, but nothing we can change about that. So the lady took a dab of our paint that we brought, she put it on a stick, she painted it, she dried it, and then she mixed me up a SW7017, put it on a stick, dried it, we compared paints before she ever mixed me up 10 more gallons, it matched perfectly. So she said that's all that happened. The last paint, somebody put the Harm HG in front of it instead of the SW that I brought in and just mixed me up this different line of paint that they're running. So thankful we got our money back, so thankful that we found the problem because that made me a bit nervous about ever getting color match paint in the future. The only bad news about this is I have to spend another day painting the house. I guess now I get three coats of paint plus one coat of primer on there. So I've got a nice durable paint job on my house. So something else real quick, a lot of y'all mentioned in the last video that I probably need to check or change the tip on my spray gun. I think you're right. I got to watching online. I didn't realize spray gun tips, which are made out of steel, by the way, 
wore out as quickly as they do. There were some people saying they change their tips every, these are professional painters now, saying every three houses or so, they chunk the tips, they wear out. And they say you'll start seeing your paint blow out and roll back around on you, so you're getting more paint on you than the house. I was experiencing that last time. So I went ahead and bought me a brand new spray paint tip for the gun. I know a lot of y'all have mentioned that back rolling the house is where you spray paint, then you roll. You spray paint, you roll. That's a good way to get good adhesion and smooth out the paint on the house. I'm just not there yet. I know I'm being hard-headed, but <clears throat> it's already warming up today. It's going to be very difficult for me to paint an entire house, spray it, and roll it all on ladders. It's just not going to work out for me. If I don't get the paint coat that I'm looking for today, I'll probably have to paint the house one more time or just roll it completely. But if I'm going to back roll, I really need a second, sand, uh, second set of hands here, which I do not have. So y'all bear with me on that. If the paint still doesn't look correctly, yeah, I'm gonna wind up rolling the house too as it is. So we got a new tip. We got the right color paint. I'm gonna throw this thing in fast forward. And hopefully as I'm spraying, y'all can see the subtle difference, but it's a big difference to the eye. I'm telling you, it really is. Now we're gonna get the proper color paint on the house because I have got the gutter guy waiting to come put me seamless gutters on the house and metal fascia. And I need to get this house painted to get that done. Alright y'all, well I've made it about as far as I can make it in this episode. I am supposed to be over at a cookout this afternoon celebrating a late Christmas. We have so many more get together still, it's crazy. We're celebrating multiple Christmases, after Christmas, weddings, everything else. So, videos are going to be spotty. I've been warning y'all of that. So, here it is. I did not get quite done painting the white trim. I'll tell y'all in a second. That paint's horrible. So, Hopefully y'all can tell the difference. I will try to stay right here. I think this is about where the camera was when I started. And I'll see if I can dig up a quick before gray and this after gray right here. So hopefully y'all should be able to tell that this has got a much more darker kind of earthy tone to it. Which is more like what we're looking for. That other one was very light blue 
white, just washed out looking. <clears throat> All right, so this side is complete as far as the white trim is painted up top around the windows and the corners. So that gives you a general idea. Now, yes, this is just a wall with one single window. It'll look a whole lot different once we eventually work around the house. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. I've learned my lesson with paint. This white paint that I'm painting the trim with is horrible. This is the most expensive Sherwin-William exterior paint sold at Lowe's. It's called like Weather Shield Extreme or something like that. It promises one coat coverage, all that stuff. This is some of the thinnest, quickest drying paint I've ever seen in my life. I've had to put three coats on everything. I've been out here forever. I would have got done today had this paint actually been a one coat paint like it claims. Um, and the lesson that I have learned is the Sherwin-Williams paint at Lowe's is nothing like the Sherwin-Williams paint at the Sherwin-Williams store. Their most cheap entry-level paint at the Sherwin-Williams store, I think it's called Super Paint, is the cheapest one my local store carries, is night and day thicker and a much better coverage paint than the most expensive thing sold at Lowe's. So, like I said, I've learned my lesson. I think I'm just gonna go continue to pay the extra in increase in price at Sherwin-Williams and just go directly to the store because man, it just seems like a much better paint. That's what we did the majority of the interior walls with and it was thick and it was good. It did what it claimed. All right, so next episode, probably gonna be a little boring. We'll finish up painting the white trim on around, slap a couple coats on that. Everybody has told me, hey, you need to go ahead and paint this uh, fascia board up here, even though I'm gonna wrap it in metal. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the gray exterior paint, paint all the way around the house. And the gutter guy will be getting out here just as soon as he can free his schedule up. So I need to go ahead and get this tin out of the way over here. We'll do that. Maybe put down some pine straw. Kind of get everything prepped ready and get this uh, house cleaned up a little more too. I'm looking forward to that. All right, I got to go jump in the shower. Get over to a get together. Hopefully y'all had a great holiday season. And uh, hopefully y'all have a good New Year's that's coming up. Pick up this trash. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Take care.